morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for being with us today on our second segment of Hometown Heroes. Um, I know, I think you and a lot of other, the other members of the community got to see Jennifer Woodruff last week speaking from Woodruff's and it had a great response. So we are definitely excited to be interviewing you today with the foundation. Um, would you just like to introduce yourself and tell us, um, well, actually, I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. What's your good news for today? Good morning, Julian. Thanks for having me. And I would just like to say that it was so much fun and it was so cool to watch your interview with Jennifer. Um, obviously, Woodroofs, that's the place um, during the pandemic and we're really uh, glad to have them in our community. So um, that was really neat and I'm glad you're doing this, this series. And what's good today? Well, the coffee's good. <laughs> Sun is shining, lots of yard, yard work ahead. So I consider that a good day. Yeah, absolutely, us too. Um, so Donka, can you just tell us a little bit about um, your position at the foundation and how long you've been there? Sure, so I'm the executive director at the Union County Foundation, which is the community foundation serving um, Union County um, area. And I've been in this position, position for nine years, which is crazy to think wow. that. It's been that long, but you know, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how many, for people that aren't familiar with the foundation or maybe how it works, how many people are on your board or can you kind of explain how your board works and how sure. it's the foundation? So um, I say this all the time, but I'm really, really fortunate to work with some of the greatest people. Um, a lot of them have become my best friends over time. And um, so we have a, um, on the staff of the foundation, we have uh, three people currently. We have Jerry Murray and Maureen Phelps that I work with, wonderful ladies, both of them. Mm -hmm. And then we have a board of directors, um, 12 local folks from Union County who are volunteering their time to govern the Union, the Union County Foundation. Um, serving on the board and um, over the 30 years of the foundation we had so many wonderful wonderful folks uh, put in work and um, their passion into building the foundation what it is today um, you know they're responsible for supervising the finances setting goals for us guiding where uh, we put our efforts and things like that and um, they're just really doing a fabulous job and it's it's awesome to work with them for yeah. our community. You have a powerhouse of a board for sure. Um, I know from week one, day one of this pandemic, you guys were kind of on the front lines. What has been the foundation's response to the COVID-19 crisis? Okay, so I think first, at first, just like everybody else, we were kind of like a deer in the headlight. We <laughs> didn't see this coming for sure. We had a lot of, and well, still have a lot of cool plans and goals for our community for this year and next year. And of course, with uh, COVID-19 coming in and barging in and disturbing everything, we had to pivot and try to, you know, figure out what, what do we do now and how we do it. So um, first, we thought it was really important to um, start talking to our partners and organizations in our community to figure out, you know, to get a pulse on what's going on, what the needs are, how we can help. So we started um, doing regular community calls and basically huddling with yeah. um, those who are on the front lines truly and um, making sure we are there to support them. Uh, we also started what we call a rapid response grant program. Um, so we put a really quick turnaround on providing financial support to nonprofit organizations because you know their their they, their needs changed suddenly and they were needing resources that they were not planning for. So so far we've been able to support uh, food pantries in our area with grants uh, for them to really purchase and stock up on food and that they have been distributing. We have also been able to support Head Start in uh, financially so that they can serve their families in uh, these new circumstances. And we were also able to 
um, help purchase laptop equipment uh, for other agencies that, you know, all of a sudden had to start working remotely and um, we thought they were crucial in, um, in their service for our community. So we're kind of taking it day by day and um, really trying to connect the dots to get a good sense of what's going on in the community, what the needs are and how we can help. Sure. Um, I know I just from the library have really appreciated the community call every Wednesday and um, it's been really neat to listen in and hear from a lot of other different perspectives and um, different agencies within the, the community. That's been just really powerful for for me because you know you kind of think when you're working from home with only a computer that you're the only one and you're the only one um, adapting or changing and really we all are. Um, so that has been super helpful. I know I've um, did follow ups with, you know, when I've heard something that someone have set, has said or um, and you, you send a recap of the, the call, which is really nice. So you can kind of review if you're mm -hmm. able to come. So I know you're um, more than happy to have more folks on that call. Um, and I know that you've been trying to help people work through state and federal grants. And um, that's been really, really amazing, too. So again, I just really appreciate all that you've been doing for that. It's just been right back at you. You guys at the library have been great. And like you said, it's hard to try to help from the couch, right? So we're yes. all alone, but yet in this together. So I really, really appreciate everybody who joined the call yeah. every Wednesday and provided updates and answered questions and basically, you know, reminded everyone that we are here for each other. And, um, you know, this community never ceases to amaze me in that how we are just so ready to help each other and um, support and there's you know a lot going on behind the scenes as well and I'm just always so pleased to see that. Yeah absolutely. Um, if there's an organization or an individual that you know is maybe finding themselves really in just a tough spot, what's the best way that they can connect with you or or how should they get a hold of you during that? Oh, sure. So we're all in tough spots, right? So there is no no small question, no silly question. Just I would just tell them to please reach out to us. We are only a phone call or email or Facebook message away. Uh, we are trying to listen. We want to know what's going on. We want to know what the needs are, whether it's an organization or an individual, so that we can adjust where we put our effort, what kind of resources we're putting out there and programs that we are offering. So um, we have, like I mentioned, the rapid response grant program. So any organization, nonprofit organization can fill it out and let us know about their need and we will reach back out and talk to them. Um, also, when it comes to individuals uh, with you partnering with the library, we have created a form uh, for individuals or families to let us mm -hmm. know uh, what their maybe needs or struggles are right now. And that way we can hopefully connect them to resources that we know about, but they may not. Um, so yeah, stay tuned to our Facebook um, page and our website. Um, early next week, uh, we should have a business, small business survey coming out. Um, we're working with the Economic Development Corporation and we wanna hear from our businesses, you know, what their big concerns are now. What they what kind of obstacles they foresee coming at them you know with the reopening going on now so we're really here and we're listening sure absolutely and i will um try to link to that um link that if you need assistance you know it's really simple just you know maybe if you're just in a tight spot or whatever that you need please fill it out i'll i'll add it to the bottom of this in the comments um it'll get sent to us and then we can find the community resource to help you or um, mm -hmm. creatively, you know, you know, we'll do our best to support the community any way that we can. And I appreciate you um, kind of setting up the link for us and um, working with us so that we can do that together. Um, I know that you are taking a role to support the organization, support the individuals, support um, anybody in between, but how can we support you guys during this time? Oh, well, thank you for asking that. That's a great question. Um, so before I answer that, I would like to maybe explain a little bit, um, uh, one thing about the foundation. So, uh, we manage charitable funds uh, that are, um, from the community for the community. And there is one distinction that we, um, in, um, 
the way we can look at those funds. We basically have two types of funds. Um, first type is what we call designated funds. So for example, if you made a donation to a scholarship, a scholarship is a designated fund. So uh, you give us the donation with a purpose to support that scholarship or library or a cemetery or a youth league, right? And those are great funds, but they, they are um, set up and donated to for a purpose and um, for one um, reason. Then we have what we call unrestricted funds, which means um, that the gifts for those funds are given to us with um, no strings attached. Basically, you would, you would donate to a foundation and say, here's 20 bucks, and I want you to um, take care of this money, grow this money, and use it for the benefit of our community in a way that you see fit and when you see fit. So, and the beauty of that fund is, and the, the genie, you know, the genius of that fund and this idea really shows in times like this when you know nobody saw corona coming nobody <laughs> nobody ever thought that we would be living sheltering in and you know no. in this crazy world and school is out and businesses are closed um and so nobody 10 years ago could have donated money towards this but we are fortunate to have unrestricted funds that we are now able to help um um, mitigate the effects of this pandemic from those resources, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. And I know um, this is especially a good time to donate to those funds because you have matching dollars on the table, right? That's exactly right. So okay. anytime, right now, not anytime, right now, if somebody would like to help us grow the unrestricted assets, unrestricted funds at the foundation, their donation will be matched with uh, $2 for every dollar donated from um, Lily Endowment. So if Julie wanted to give us, donate $20 towards the unrestricted fund, uh, Lily Endowment comes in and adds 40 bucks to that for a total benefit of $60 towards mm -hmm. the needs of Union County, which is great. Yeah, I mean, opportunity. matching dollars like that don't come along that often, so, um, yeah, that's amazing. And definitely, this is the time to, to give if you're able to the foundation. I know the library has been recipients of several grants and different things, and we're always so grateful for the support from you guys. Um, I know something else that um, we had talked about was the census. Can you kind of explain to folks about why the census is so important to, to you, to me, to a lot of everyone? Yeah, to everyone. <laughs> Yes, I'm so glad you asked about that. So that's one of the things we've been um, trying to promote. So yes, we have Corona right now and it put a pause on um, everything really that's going on. But the census done by, by the Union, um, United States government is ongoing, very much ongoing. <clears throat> and we really are trying to rally up folks in Union County so that they go online or make the phone call or submit their response by mail. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is really important for us to get accurately counted because for the next 10 years, based on the census response, that's how the state and federal, federal uh, funding is calculated. So if we want support for our library, for the roads repair, for schools, um, it's really important that we get accurately counted and, and as many people as can, as can go online and really truly respond, take time to answer the census. Um, it only takes five to eight minutes. So really yeah. it's something you can easily do while you're drinking your morning coffee or at, in the bed at night, yeah. right? Before you fall asleep. Yeah, I know I did ours online and it, I mean, when they say it takes five to eight minutes, they're not kidding. It, it's very, very simple and the impact is huge. I can't remember the exact dollar amount that they um, calculated it to, but um, it is amazing what it can do. And I know that Union County still has several folks that need to still do it. So if you haven't done your census yet, it's like Donka said, it's a quick Google search 2020 census and it doesn't take any time. We can put the link below maybe. Yeah, absolutely. We'll put the link below and um, try to get people to to get that done for us. Um, Donka, thank you so much for being on the call with us this morning. Um, the foundation is so powerful in this little town. Um, 
I know there's other communities that are bigger than us and their foundations don't do nearly as, as much as ours does. So that speaks volumes about you, your staff, your board. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much. When this all hit, I was like, like everyone else in panic mode. And I thought, okay, who's my first person to connect with? And you are one of the first. And I think that speaks volumes about what you guys do. It's just, it's amazing. And um, if anybody needs anything from you, I know that they you would be happy to help. And thank you for being one of our hometown heroes and for supporting all of us and being kind of the, the connecting agent to all of us, whether we're at home on our couches or um, you know, we're working remotely or whatever in between, you guys have done just a great job. And just thank you so much for being one of our heroes and for being for Union County and that we're in this together. So thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you very much for having me. And I, I just have to give a big shout out to uh, the team I work with and our board of directors. I I am by any no means a one woman show. I, I would not be, we would not be doing anything like you mentioned without really the group of dedicated, passionate people that I just love to work with. And I'm so proud to be part of that team. So, and thank you too. And I have a question for you. Okay. <laughs> I think it's time that you are interviewed for the hometown hero, uh, hometown hero series. So maybe we can flip the um, roles and have you talk to us next week. Well, that's <laughs> definitely something we can talk about. But um, <laughs> well, thank you for saying that, um, you know, the library is happy to to be in partnership with all of you guys and. Um, that we just we really are blessed to live in a town like this and that that's true are tough people step up so again donka thank you and thank you to the foundation for all that you've done and um everybody else just keep tuning in sunday nights for our hometown heroes and uh, we'll be sure to work our way through the community slowly and try to um you know touch on all other people that are doing lots of great things so again donka thank you and i will talk to you soon Thanks, Julie. You're welcome.